Museum of Imagination. When I was little, my mummy and daddy took me and my friend Timmy to a museum. Willie came too. There were lots of things to look at. Everything was old. Some of the old things were shiny. I could see my face. The shiny things looked new. But Timmy said the shiny things were old. That car might be very shiny, but it's very old. Timmy knew lots of things. Timmy showed me cars in a traffic jam. Those cars were in a traffic jam, and the lights turned green, boom, off they go. Timmy said, when the lights turn green, the cars will drive away up the wall. Vroom, <laughs> off they go. I waited for the cars to go. Beep, beep. But they didn't. Martin. Timmy showed me bicycles on the ceiling. Timmy said the bicycles were in a race. No That's car. a bicycle race up there. They're going to race round and round. Whee! I waited for the race to start. But it didn't. There were some big steam engines. The wheels were taller than me. Timmy showed me how to shovel coal to make the fire in the engine. Timmy showed me a flying train. That train's going to take off and fly around the room. Timmy said the train will blow its whistle and fly around the room. Woo! I waited for the train to fly, but it didn't. Outside there was a big boat. Timmy got very excited. That's a really old sail ship. Timmy told me the big boat was an old sailing ship. That sail ship's full of pirates. What's pirates, I said. Pirates have patches, they wave swords, they jump, tumble, and they sail on big ships. Ha <laughs> ha! Why don't Tig and I go and do something else and you two go on the ship? I didn't want to go on the old ship. It was scary. Me and Mummy drew pictures. Timmy and Daddy had fun on the sailing ship. Hey Tig, Timmy knows lots of things, but Timmy doesn't know everything. Nobody does. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> but sometimes, Timmy can make things sound a lot more exciting than they really are. <laughs> Timmy has a big, big imagination, and that's fun. <laughs> so the cars won't really drive off up the wall. The bicycles won't really race round and round the ceiling, and trains don't fly. <laughs> Timmy looked at the big old sailing ship and imagined pirates sailing the ocean. But any pirates would have left a long, long time ago. So go for it, Tig, and have fun on the old sailing ship. Hey, and Tig, no worries, the ship won't sail away, only in Timmy's imagination. Yes, I thought. Mummy, can I go on the sailing ship now? I want to see what it's like on the old sailing ship. So I went on the ship. The only pirates on the sailing ship were Timmy and me. Timmy's pirate was a scaredy pirate. He ran away from Wooly. And all the other spiders! I like the old ship. I like Timmy's imagination. I love Willy. We've been scared since we were three. Echoes. When I was little, me and my friend Timmy went to visit a castle. Willy came too. Daddy knocked on the door, but no one answered. Oops, I think I got the wrong time. We'll come back later. Let's go and have a wee play. Come on. The castle's closed. We have to wait. The castle had a big, tall tower. Up there is the castle tower. Soldiers used to be up there. That 
towers for soldiers, said Timmy. Timmy marched like a soldier, and I copied him. Time to march into the castle, said Daddy. A man opened the door for us. Hello, can we come into the castle? Uh, yes, please come inside, yes. Come on then, thank you. Inside the castle, it was empty, just walls. It smelt funny. And this is, I see the fireplace. The fire would rise and smoke would come out the chimney up there. Be careful on the steps. Timmy found a little room. It was a friendly little room with cupboards on the wall. I wonder what's in this door. I liked the little friendly room. Look, there's a wee window, right? Can we go up the tower, please? Can we go up the tower? Said Timmy. Of course, said Daddy. Timmy opens a big door. Ooh! I heard a woo. I didn't like the woo. Daddy said the woo was Timmy. It's just an echo, OK? Don't be scared. I didn't like the echo. I was frightened. I ran back to the little friendly room. Hey Tig, new things can be scary and strange. And there's lots of new strange things in a big old castle like this. Strange smells, strange rooms and strange sounds. Hey Tig, that woo sounded strange. That woo sounded scary. Woo! But that woo was just Timmy having fun. In a big old empty castle like this, sounds sound different because they echo. Cooey! It sounds like someone is copying me. No one's copying me. That's just my echo sound. I made it. And you can have fun making echoes too. Woo! 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 So go for it, Tig. There's no woos behind that door, only the woos that you and Timmy make. Yes, I thought. No need to be scared. Just silly echoes. Go on. I wanted to go up the tower. Daddy opened the door into the woo room. There were no woos. And so me and Sammy had fun making woos. We made lots of other echo sounds. Then Daddy took us up the tower. We went up some tiny stairs that went round and round and up and up. At the top of the stairs was the top of the tower. Timmy marched round the tower. When Timmy saw Willy, ah! he was a scaredy woo. It's only a toy spider. I like the old castle. I like funny woos. I love Willy. The hat. Hi. Hello, parcel for Tig Jemison. When I was little, I got a parcel from Grandad. Inside the parcel was a hat, a sailor's hat. I loved my sailor's hat. Willie liked my sailor's hat too. I wore my sailor's hat a lot. One day, Grandad told Mummy that we were going on a big adventure. Ah, a message from Grandad. We're going on a big adventure down a magical river. Wear your sailor's hat. Wear your sailor's hat, said Grandad. That would be cuddly. Grandad's big adventure was on a boat. I wore my sailor's hat. Wait for me! Grandad nearly missed the boat. Grandad wore a sailor's hat too. You've got your hat on. Come aboard. The big boat rumbled and grumbled. Oh, 
hope we sails on our bag adventure. I think you'll find out. I'm the captain. Well, I'm the captain. Can you say aye aye, sir? Aye aye, sir. A man told us what everything was. And over on your right now, we have uh, the London Eye. Granddad made everything into a big adventure. We saw a wheel turning high in the sky. Spaceships spinning off to visit the clouds, said Granddad. We saw a tower of pointy glass. The Snow Queen's palace, said Granddad. We saw lots of boats. Fast boats, slow boats, and a battleship. Granddad spotted a fairy tale boat. Look, there's Peter Pan. Sailing to Never Never Land, said Grandad. We went under lots of bridges. When we went under one bridge, it got very windy. Whoosh! My sailor hat blew off. Whoosh! My sailor hat was gone. It floated away. You know, it wasn't my hat. Had my hat, said Grandad. No, I wanted my hat. We'll go to the cafe and get a cup of tea. My sailor hat was gone forever. I was angry. I wanted my hat back. Well, your hat's gone, Tig. Well, uh, do you know what? I'll get you another one, will I? Do you want a glass of water? I missed my hat. I loved my hat. Hey, Tig. When you lose something you love, it can make you feel angry. When you lose something forever, it can make you feel sad too. But losing your hat was no one's fault. It was the wind. No one knows what the wind will do next. But hey, Tig, you are on a big adventure. Big adventures are like the wind. You never know what will happen next. Your hat blowing away was the most exciting part of your adventure. Your hat blowing away has made your adventure big. Remember, Tig, a hat is just a thing. You can always get another one. What matters most is that you and Grandad and Mummy are all having fun on your big adventure together. Go for it, Tig! Yes, I thought. My hat was just a thing. You look a bit happier now. Losing my hat was my adventure. The Tower Bridge was opened in 1894. Upstairs, the man was still telling us what everything was. The man didn't know what Willie was. Well, it's only a toy bag. I didn't miss my sailor set anymore. I just liked having my big adventure with my granddad. And I love Willie. I love Willie and Willie loves me. We've been together since we were wee. He's my style.